And when we go to officer versus enlisted, uh, a big a big challenge for me to choose between the two was which one I'm going to get respected more. And I figured my first initial thoughts is like, hey, if I go enlisted first and then I go officer, they're going to respect, respect me for it because I went and enlisted and I was one of them. Which that might have some truth, but it's not necessarily entirely true because the process to go enlisted to officer is not a guaranteed thing. You got to go to a green to gold system and you're not going to automatically get it. You got to compete with all these other soldiers around force Com that want to become officers. And it just didn't make sense in my mind that I put four years of hard work to get a degree. And then I just go like six steps back, become an E4. When as an officer, as soon as I got my platoon, I didn't need to have previous enlistment as respect. I gained my respect by my performance and me like laying down the foundation of how I run things. And whenever we run missions, I could tell that my platoon respects me because we kick ass at it. Like they'll do anything for me and I'll do anything for them. And we have that open communication. So a lot of it just comes down to your leadership skills. And another big thing that played a factor on my mind is how I'm going to be financially set. And in the military, it's not a very huge topic that's touched on is finances. A lot of enlisted soldiers suffer from finance because they don't have that support. But as an officer, you are pretty set. And I believe that as an officer, you get to play around with your money a little bit more, learn some stuff, make mistakes and learn from it. And then from doing that, I get to bring it to my soldiers and be like, hey, I fucked up on this expense, but I learned this lesson this way. So like, if you guys ever want to buy a car or a house, you know, come talk with me because I've had this experience. I was like, I don't want you to get fucked over how I got fucked over. 100%. So, yeah. Yeah. And like officer also, I realized once I was in, brings me up to so many more schools that I could go to. I, I got to go to ranger school. I got to go to airborne school. I got to go to aerosol school. I went to a counter IED course. And then when, and the need for officer in special operations is very high, which also sets you to SEER school. So it just the benefits of being an officer is just so much more than what I would get as an enlisted.